If you want to get started making things with Arduino, you're in the right place. Uh, we're going to build a new project each video, and today's video is specifically tailored if you just want to get started and you have no idea how to begin. So we're going to look at today, we're going to look at installing the Arduino IDE, and that's the place where you write the code uh, that you're going to upload to the Arduino. Then we're going to build a circuit with an LED. After that, we're going to write our code in the development environment we installed in the first step, and we're going to use that code to blink the LED. Then we're going to take that code and upload it to the Arduino and then see the results. So let's get started. All right, so to install the Arduino IDE, we're going to type in Arduino IDE into Google. And we're going to click on the first link here, Arduino software. And then on this page, we're going to scroll down and you're going to click on the installer that's appropriate for your computer, right? If you have Mac, click on this. Uh, Linux, you're on your own, but it's one of these. And Windows, right here, Windows installer. And then it's going to ask you if you want to contribute. You don't have to. You can just click Just Download. And you're going to see the installer downloading here. All right, and once we have the installer, uh, we're going to click into it and follow the directions. Okay, that just asked me if I wanted to make changes to my computer. I clicked yes. And then here we are on the installer. I'm going to click I agree. Uh, yes, we want all of these things. Click next. And here, I'm just going to save this to, instead of to program files, I'm going to save it to C slash Arduino. So if you'd like to do that too, you can. It's just easier for me to find that way. I know it's right in my C drive. And click install. And now we're going to have to wait a little bit. And once it's finished installing, you're going to see it says completed. You can go ahead and click out close on the uh, installer. And then you're going to go down to your search bar in Windows and type in Arduino and open the app. There should also be a desktop shortcut for your app. And that's it. You've installed the IDE. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. All right, so let's create a circuit with an LED. You're going to need your Arduino, a breadboard, an LED, and a resistor. Um, now the LED has two sides. It has this bent side and a straight side for the wires. Um, the bent side's the positive side, and it has a fancy name called anode. And the straight side is the negative side, and it has the fancy name called cathode. But I'm just going to say the bent side's positive, and the straight side's negative. In real life, this bent side's probably going to be a little longer than the straight side. So let's put the LED on the breadboard. And we're going to need a wire connecting from pin 13 to the positive side of this LED, okay? Uh, so let's take a wire from pin 13 and connect it to the positive side of the LED and this whole row right here you can see is connected the current will flow through this I'm just going to change that to red so we know it's positive and then it's going to flow up through the LED down through the negative side and then we're going to use our resistor here and your resistor needs to be somewhere between up around 220 to 350 ohms okay we're going to put the resistor and connect it to the negative side you can see here this whole row here is connected so it'll flow through the negative side through the resistor and then we need to go from the resistor here this row with the resistor to ground on the arduino so we'll take another wire from here and go to ground change that color so we know it's negative and that's it we have our led circuit so to code our circuit go ahead and open up your arduino ide and you're going to be presented with a page similar to this. It's going to have a setup function and a loop function. Uh, so the setup function is the code that runs when you start the program. The, this is the code that runs one time. And once this is done running in the setup function, then the code in the loop function will run. And this code will run over and over and over again in the loop function. Um, but right now, uh, we need to look at the setup function and we need to grab the pin that our LED is connected to on the Arduino. So in the diagram above my head, uh, you can see that the red wire is connected to pin 13. And so we're going to write pin mode. And we need to grab pin 13. 
and this is where outputting to pin 13. So we're going to put output. Uh, if we were gathering data and sending it to the Arduino, we would put input. But in this case, output. And then we're going to jump down to the loop function because we're going to make our LED blink. And to do that, uh, we're going to turn it on, delay it, uh, turn it off, and then we're going to loop back through it again, and it's going to continually turn on and turn off. So to do that, to turn our pin on first, we can do digital, right? And we're going to say we want to write to pin 13, and we want to turn our LED on. So high, it turns our LED on. And then we want to wait a second or two and then turn our LED off. Because if we don't wait a second or two in between, it's going to turn on and off so fast that we won't even be able to see it blink. So to do that, there's this function called delay. And it does exactly what you think. It, it allows the code to just kind of pause and wait for a few seconds before continuing to the next thing. Um, in this case, we're going to delay for about 1,000 milliseconds. And every 1,000 milliseconds is equal to one second. So if I wanted to delay for three seconds, I could put 3,000 milliseconds. Underneath delay, then we need to turn our LED off. So we can do digital, right? Pin 13, low. And low means we're turning the LED off, right? So then we need one more delay. Delay for another thousand seconds. Oops, thousand. And notice after every um, statement in the code here, in our C code, we're putting a semicolon. Without that semicolon, it won't run, okay? So let's talk through the code one more time. We say, hey, pin 13 is gonna be output. Then we uh, say, we're gonna turn our LED on from pin 13. We're gonna wait for a second, turn our LED off, Wait for a second, go back to the top of the loop function, turn the LED back on, wait, off, wait, and it's gonna loop through that forever. Um, yeah, and that's it. So that's our code. Uh, now let's transfer it to our Arduino. All right, now we have our circuit built and our code written. So now we need to compile our code and make sure there's no errors. To do that, we're gonna click this verify button, this check mark up here. And it's going to give you the option to save or cancel. I'm going to click cancel. And down here, you're going to see it's compiling. And it'll say done compiling when it's finished. Uh, and it'll tell you that our, pro our program uses 2% of the storage space. Now we need to upload it to the Arduino. So to do that, plug your Arduino into the computer. You may need to go up to tools. And you can click there. There's a drop down and select which one is your Arduino. Uh, once you do that, there's this arrow button here, and it says Upload. We're going to click that to upload uh, the code to our Arduino, and then the light will start blinking, and we've finished our program. So let's upload. Uh, mine takes a second because it's going to tell me to save or cancel. Yours will too. I'm just going to click Cancel, and it says Uploading. And when it says Done Uploading, the program will start running, and your Arduino will start working with the code and your LED will start blinking. Uh, now the last thing you can do is if you have a 9 volt battery and you want to prove to yourself that this code is indeed on the Arduino and not coming from the computer, you can take a 9 volt battery with a, in my case I have a thing here to plug into the Arduino, and I'm going to unplug the Arduino from the computer, hopefully, maybe. And I'm going to plug in the battery pack. All right, so now it's not attached to the computer, but the C program is still on this Arduino, and it'll still blink our light. Right, that's the goal, I think, is to get the program onto here and then have it run. So it's still blinking our light, right? Um, yeah, so that's our first program. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching. Give us a follow. Bye. Take care.